Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have everyone here. And we're here now looking into December the 17th and December the 18th is 2023. Happy birthday to the sign of Sagittarius. I really do hope that you enjoy your birthday season. Of course, everything that you need to know about me is going to be right down below. It's in our description box. And thank you so much for all of your love and your support, your donations and all. Thank you so much, okay? We're going to jump right into this energy right here. I just want to have some smoke going right here as I go ahead and let them the smoke there hit the cards here. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, message here now for the collective. Everyone's welcome here. Okay, December 17th and December 18th is 2023, please. So I just start here, somebody praying. Yeah, somebody's like praying. All right, what is going on? All right, King of Swords could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe. Okay, yeah, could be. All right, this is somebody that's very intelligent, um, very analytical. Okay. Wow, the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. This is the truth. This is like the hid hunter, God, heaven's truth about something right here. These two together, like this is the truth. <laughs> Okay, we can't get around the truth. This is it. Whatever the truth is right there, that's it right here. Okay, what's the message right here, please? Holy Spirit, holy angels are here. Yeah, this could be a Gemini. Some truth right here about a Gemini because this card is Gemini and this one could be a Gemini. So there could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, maybe. This even could be sex. Could be some truth right here about sex or a Gemini. Get right here. Okay, what else is going on? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune right here. Okay. So I feel like it's a turning point in somebody's life sexually or it's a turning point in somebody's life here with a Gemini. Or this is a Gemini right here. Okay. So let's see what else we got going on here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, message right here, please. Okay. Yeah. So the Knight of Cups right here could be a relationship for some people right here. Okay. There's a lot of blue in these cards. I feel like blue could uh, be colors of physical and emotional healing could be the case. Okay. Or somebody's emotional, maybe. Something like that. Emotional about the truth. Could be the case right here. The Six of Cups. This could be in the past. Maybe something here happened in the past. Or the truth was here in the past. About something right here. So, yeah. Eight of Pentacles right here. Okay. All right. So, the Eight of Pentacles could be um somebody was skilled. They was dedicated or... Uh, this could also represent right here somebody was consistently doing something right here. Sex or somebody was skilled. They knew something about sex. They knew something about a Gemini. Or oh, this Gemini is very intelligent. Something like that here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So six of wands right here. Now, this is a card about being successful and victorious in some way right here. The page of coins. Now, this page of coins, coins represents um, trustworthy, making practical decisions, maybe financially. Okay. All right. So, making practical decisions financially. Right. Strength card right here. Your inner strength is real strong right here. Could be um a Leo, could be a Virgo. This also cool. This also looks like right here. That somebody's pissed off about something, maybe. I don't know. I never got that from this card before. But this one right here, yeah, kind of feel like somebody could be a little bit pissed off about something, maybe. Okay, or well, somebody's inner strength is strong right here about something right here. Okay, what's the message right here, please? King of Swords right here, the Knight of Cups. Your Ten of Swords, okay. Wow. <laughs> Maybe somebody here does know something right here about a relationship right here or about falling in love or, or about Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have a Leo and a Virgo here. Okay. This either could be, a you know, the, the Ten of Swords could represent insights. 
This even could be backstabbing. So I'm not sure if somebody backstabbed somebody right here or this is the end of a difficult time or this insight about something right here. This has to do with a relationship, definitely, okay? Um, or if somebody betrayed somebody here, that truth is there. Somebody do know they betrayed them if they did, okay? Yeah, two of swords right here. Hmm? Okay, yeah. I feel like this is it, okay? This is this is it right here, okay? Somebody even knows right here they betrayed them. Or somebody does know right here they have insight or something right here about a relationship. If somebody's really into a relationship or not. Or this even could be to a sword, something that somebody didn't see before. They're going to see it right now because Ten of Swords is insight. It's the end of it's insight. And also with the King of Swords and Knight of Swords, it's the truth right here. Something here is the God's heaven truth right here. Okay, about something right now. It's the truth about it right here. Could be a cancer right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe life is good over here with a cancer. Could be the case. Or this is a cancer. Or somebody's wish fulfillment is a cancer. Could be the case here. Okay. Put some extra right here, please. Okay. I'm not sure if the cancer is a child. Doesn't have to be, but it could be for some people right here because right here. Okay. So this could be that the cancer is a child for some people here. Okay. That's wishful thinking for some people here. Hmm? It's wishful thinking. Something like that could be the case. Okay. All right. Um, because this emperor could be a father. Hmm. Or somebody knows the truth about something over here, a love situation. So maybe it's wishful thinking that there's somebody who could be a father or that somebody would want to be a father or, you know, or that life will be good with children, something like that. That also could be the case. Maybe somebody thought right here, if they had children, that life would be good in some way. It's a possibility. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Okay. What else is going on right here? Okay. Yeah, three of cups right here. So, so for some people here, it's wishful thinking that somebody can come back and reconcile with you. Okay. Um, so, okay, for some people here. Now, for some, for some of you, as many ways this is going to go right here. Okay, take it away or resonate. For some of you, it's wishful thinking they can come back and reconcile with you. Okay. For some of you, it's wishful thinking they can have a third party that could be a child for some people here. Doesn't have to be, but it certainly could be right here. Okay. All this is wishful thinking right here that somebody would be happy because they have children. Something like that. Okay. So somebody might need to know that. Okay. You can't keep somebody right here because you have a child for them. Doesn't have to be for everybody here, but that's the, that's the message I'm giving. Okay. So anyway, Eight of Pentacles right here and a Lover's card. See, I feel like somebody's skilled. They know about sex in some way, whatever, whatever kind of sex it is, okay? Whether it's a child or a father or whoever else it could be here, okay? A Gemini or somebody. What's the mess right here, please? The Lover's card right here. And see, yeah, somebody be lusting over here, okay? And they be tempted, I'm getting right here, okay, by somebody, okay? Okay, somebody knows right here, all this lusting, they're either powerless at the lusting, or, okay, somebody could go to jail because something could be about a child. It doesn't have to be for everybody, but it certainly could be for some people here. And I'm not going to play games with somebody here, okay? That's what I'm getting right here. Could be a child, okay? The devil card right here and the lovers. They're a pedophile for some people here. They are for you. They're a pedophile. Okay, somebody's skilled, somebody knows that, I feel, okay, and they could go to jail for some people right here, okay, so they, they might go to jail for some people here. <laughs> for sexual abuse of a child, okay, they could. <laughs> Tower, could be a revelation about that in some way. I feel like somebody wants somebody recognition, even though they be lost in about whoever they be lost in about here in some way. Okay. Somebody even could have thought right here that the fact that they was consistent and dedicated with you in some way, that they could still be lost in with whoever they lost in with here in some way. Okay. They could have thought that. Okay. 
The tower could be a revelation that they could go to jail, okay? Or the tower is a revelation right here, right? That somebody's curious and they're realizing who they be lusting with. Somebody's going to realize they're both somebody here. They're going to. I feel. And I feel like that's going to be fate for somebody here. It's a turning point in somebody's life right here. Mm -hmm. Something, but the Wheel of Fortune is fate, is destined, turning point right here, right? Six of Wands is a card of proclaiming victory and successful in some way, all right? This even could be right here. Maybe somebody here has been watching them and watching them and watching them. And now they're going to find out right here who they be lusting with for some people here. So it could be an investigation, maybe like a detective or something. That's one way it could be. I do get a sense it is for some people here, Page of Swords. Somebody is watching them. Right here for some people here. Okay. Yeah. Could be the police. Could be. Okay. So, so this could be the police or some sting or something like that. Could be the case. Could be a Libra. <laughs> yeah. See. Somebody's stuck. They could be stuck because lusting. They could be powerless and money or powerless something right here. Or some evidence could be here or something like that. Okay. What's the message right here, please? Yeah. See, this is what I'm getting right here. This is exactly what I'm getting here. I feel like right here, right? Some case went cold. But little did somebody know that somebody was over here still watching somebody. Huh? I feel like they really was. They were still watching them. Somebody could have thought something went cool right here. I feel a legal situation. Okay. And I feel like somebody here is going to be stuck. I get a sense. Right. Yeah. Because somebody is consciously aware. Even though they think something went cold. I feel like somebody is consciously aware about something right here. I feel right. Or somebody's going to realize why something went cold or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, death. Yeah. Oh. This is gonna haunt them. It's going to haunt them for some people here. Okay. The fact that somebody knew about something or they this is this could be a legal situation for some people here. Okay. But it is revealed. I'm getting right here. It is definitely revealed right here. Who somebody's lusting with, I feel. Who are they lusting with, I feel. Okay. That somebody could definitely thought that that could be a secret. I feel like that's not going to be a secret at all. I'm getting right here. Okay. That's conflict right here. Okay. Death card right here. Could definitely be a Scorpio right here. Mm hmm So I feel like they're going to get caught or they already got caught or something like that. Hmm. Let's see what these cards want to say right here. Message right here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Message right here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. By springtime, for some people here, they're going to get caught. For some people here. Maybe it's in a car. Huh? Could it be? This one right here says eye candy. I feel like somebody's watching their car or something. Could be the case here. A gift of money is coming to you. What's the message right here, please? All right, it says out back right here. And then it says right here, damn good cook. Maybe some of you, you already know about this because this one right here could be a secret. So some of you, maybe you're just waiting on a chance to get away or something like that. Could be the case too. What's the message right here, please? I'm also hearing the word habitat. See, habitat is all about being in an environment where one can flourish at, right? But one can do whatever they do here, whether that's positive or it's negative. But you have to be in an environment where you can do something. 
right? Whatever energy is matching you, okay? So for some of you, if some energy here is not matching you, that you know, that's going to be seen or known or you're going to realize that, okay? Look at that. Some of you, you're going to leave some situation behind. I feel like you'll be, you're going to be manifesting money. It's coming to you right here. You'll be able to leave some situation, I feel, right here behind in some way. Okay. So that's what will be coming up soon. 